hello everybody and welcome to another Glades AI video. Today we are going to be showcasing running some basic neural networks inside of our neural net creator GUI interface. So first things first, let's load our neural network Zornet and let's load our data set Zorgate.csv. You might be asking yourself, what is Zor? Zor is the concept of exclusive or, or separating two things, this or that, only this or only that. And this logical relationship is the most difficult for machine learning to learn, which makes it a very good test for a basic neural network implementation. So let's go ahead and click that run button and see what happens. Now I'm going to stop the neural network. So let's evaluate the output. So right here you can see we have 99.5% accuracy and that we ran for a total of 55,000 epochs. Epochs are the number of iterations that we try to learn the data set. Just like a human would try many, many times repeating a task to learn something and evaluating what they did wrong, so does the neural network. And that can be represented over time right here by the learning curve. The learning curve is the error every single case we have. And so you can see over time, the error decreased. It got minimized to effectively zero. This bottom graph, this is like the brain, the, the brain of the neural network. This, you can see the structure of the neural network as well as the state of the neural network. This first column here represents the inputs. This last column represents the outputs. And this middle column here, the hidden layer, represents all that mush in your brain that is doing those calculations to learn this data set. The learning is done by creating relationships using chain rule calculus and like I mentioned over time we keep attempting our data sets and evaluating how much error we have so that we can work toward that goal of learning this data set. So now let's try to run a more complex a slightly more complex data set. This data set this neural network is called iris and this data set is the iris data set. This iris data set is a very popular data set for basic machine learning implementations as well. Many, many machine learning people might be familiar with this data set, just like how many of you might be familiar with exclusive or. But if you are not familiar, what this data set is, is a 150 flowers that we will be sorting into three different groups based on different features such as the petal length, right? The size or color perhaps of the flower, the different characteristics or qualities that you might think of when you see a flower. So let's go ahead and click this run button. Fun stuff, right? I'm gonna stop the neural network. So, Let's talk about some of this output. So you can see right here, the inside is a little bit crazier. There's more input features, more different characteristics we're learning about. And there's three flowers, like I mentioned. So like three answers is one way to think about it. And we need more brain mush on the inside in order to understand these more complex concepts. Over here on the bottom under the window, you can see we are above 95% accuracy on all these statistics, which are very similar to accuracy. However, I think it will be easier to explain by looking at this bottom right graph right here, the confusion matrix. Confusing, right? Well, not actually. So I mentioned we're sort. We are sorting into three different groups. And so right here, it's number 50. I mentioned there's 50 flowers in each group, yes? 47 and 48 are also very close to 50. And knowing that we have 
over 95% accuracy, we can understand that this diagonal right here represents the number of correct sortings of flowers. And we have a total of five, two plus three flowers that are sorted incorrectly. In this case, group one seems to be sorted completely correctly, but group two, we are confusing the flowers with group three and group three, we are confusing the flowers with group two. Perhaps these group two and three flowers are more similar than this first flower. And so I'm gonna continue our neural network. And over time, if we let this run, ideally, it will become more and more accurate. However, it might never always be perfect. And should it be perfect, you also need to be careful that you are not memorizing the answers. There is a difference when a machine learning is what's called overtraining, aka memorizing the answers, and actually learning how to sort between these different flowers. And so over here, we have these different options that allow us to what's called regularize or generalize. And what all that means is basically what I just said before, instead of memorizing the answers, it allows us to figure out the answers by having more general concepts understood by our neural network as opposed to memorizing specific flowers into specific groups. But we will save running these different settings for our next video. Thank you, much. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for understanding more outputs, more settings, and seeing some more examples of more advanced neural networks.